Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time we beat Bowser again, and this time we're upstairs. So, let's quickly have a look around, because there's a few Toads to talk to and a few, um, signs to read, I guess. Thanks, Mario. The castle is recovering its energy as you retrieve Power Stars, and you've chased Bowser right out of here. On to some area ahead. Oh, by the by, are you collecting coins? Special stars appear when you collect 100 coins in each of the 15 courses. Little hint there if you hadn't found out about the 100 coins. But since I already knew about the 100 coins, I wanted to go over them earlier. Since they're kind of important. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In the room with mirrors, Look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. And when you go to the uh, the water town, you can flood it with with a high jump into the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. This toad found another power star for us. Well, now that that's all been looked at, let's just go into one of the paintings that we can actually go into, probably, except there's also a sign here that I forgot about. Hang on. Shh! Please walk quietly in the hallway. Okay, well, let's go into this one. Course 11. Wet Dry World. Star number one, Shocking Arrow Lifts. So depending on how, what, what height you enter the level, the painting, the water level in this area will actually be different. And the main reason for that being is that if we go down here, we can see a little, like, diamond thing down here, and if we touch it, it starts spinning and the water level drops to that level. So, as we go through this place, we'll find more of these crystals, and if we activate all of them, well, you can actually tap them in whatever, like use them in whatever order you want, but as you go up, the easier it is to get them, so. So yeah, those all change the water level, up or down, depending on which one you touch. So now, let's just get off over here, because now we can go up this because the water's high enough. We can go up here, and we need to get to the shocking arrow lifts, which I think are over there, so. I probably want to raise the water level just a little bit more. Which one do I want to touch for that? I think, actually, I want to go back down. And there's another crystal I need to touch to raise a little bit more. I don't actually know how much more I need to raise it. I could be... There could be a different one that I could raise it to make it go by, like, get there quicker. But I think this one up here is the one I want to get. So press the switch and these platforms appear. They will go away after the timer runs out, so we need to be quick. And let's raise the water level. So now, I believe, from here we can get onto these platforms here. And now, we want to be very careful and move slowly onto these platforms. And whenever we step on them, they will move around the place. Oh, shouldn't have stayed there too long. Come on, go please. Thank you. I'll oh, get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh my goodness. And then last one. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm fine. But if we hit this box, we're gonna burn, fall off the edge, aren't we? Oh, please don't, please don't. No. Ah. Oh. oh my goodness. But yeah, that's where the star is. So let's go get that. And the way, the reason it's called shocking arrow lifts is because of the, the buzzer? I think that's what they're called, right? I don't actually know. Oh, come on. These platforms are really small, so it's really hard to stay on them for longer than five seconds. Oh my goodness, please. Let me try backflip. Will the backflip work? If I hold to the way I'm wanting to go, I can. Okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's like brushing me. Oh my goodness, don't go too far, and then grab the star. Go, good. Here we go.
Okay, let's head back in. Top of the town. So, we need to head, get to the top of the town, which shouldn't be too hard to do. Considering we can take this ramp straight away. If you enter the painting low enough, the water should be lower, I believe. As well. So let's push this block over here, and then... We should be able to grab onto this, and then... I believe our backflip works. Yep. So let's do that again. And now this, this enemy here used to be absolutely terrifying to me. But it's not too bad, it just grabs you and then throws you in a random direction. Which can be annoying because it can combo you a lot. Where it grabs you and throws you at something and you slide for too long and then you have to get back up again. Um, but other than that, it's just grab it from behind and then throw it on the ground. Fairly simple. Okay, let's head back up again. If I can. Also, I think there's another sign down this way that's probably just meant to tell you about the, the switches. Let me see. Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in a course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, a secret star will show up. Well, that's not what I thought it was going to be, but I'm pretty sure, sure we've already read that as well, so... In the f bomb battlefield, actually. Which we've completed now. Oh my goodness, don't grab me. Just grab you, and then throw you away. But yeah, those things used to be absolutely terrifying to me. Okay, let's just go up here, and then go across this platform board thing. I probably want to go a little bit faster than this so I can avoid the buzzers. Then right up here, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, is a box with a star on it for us. But don't fall off. Here we go. And there we go. Well, now that we've got two stars there, let's head to another level. There are some of these star doors we can go through. There's no requirements for stars to worry about up here. It's just the first floor that has star requirements, which is interesting. But anyway... None of the paintings that uh, we can see are actually able to be used. Except... If we look in the mirror, which we can also see Lakitu and Mario in, we can see that this wall over here is supposed to have a, a snowman painting on it. Course 10, Snowman's Land. Snowman's Big Head. So yeah, welcome to Snowman's Land. We can see the giant snowman in the middle of the course, and also the star at the top, which is probably what we need to get. So let's start off by reading this sign, obviously. Running around in circles makes some bad guys roll their eyes. Well, I believe that's talking about these snowmen that appear. And these actually appear in the cool cool mountain that we did had a look had a look at ages ago. It feels like ages ago, but it's not actually been that long ago. If we spin around them though, they'll slowly fall down and die. Anyway, there's a bit of wind here pushing me this way, so we can't go through that like that. Also, these flower things, I don't know what they're called. If you jump on top of them, they'll make you spin and float down slowly. Let's go around here, and then let's head in this direction. Also, this coin is not what it seems because it's a money bags thing. And if you defeat it, it will give you lots of coins. Okay. Now, this bit over here, if you look, if you go into this cold water here, you will take damage over time. So you need to be careful about that. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get out, get out, get out, get out. And these slopes are being pushed towards you, so you need to get over them somehow, and then manage to jump up there. Good. Okay, cool. Literally cool. And now, we're on the snowman, so let's go a little bit higher. There's a tree here, don't worry about that. It's fine. And then over here, we have a big penguin. And as soon as we step onto this ice platform... Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snow flea? Whatever it is, uh, it's bugging me. I think I'll blow it away. So now, the snowman's gonna start blowing air at you. And if you 
uh, not behind this penguin as it's walking. The air will blow you off the edge and also blow your hat off, which means you have to go recollect your hat, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. So yeah, this is actually fairly tricky to do. It's actually fairly tricky to do. So you might want to be very careful while doing it. Unfortunately, there's ice physics on that platform, so... And also on the ground down here. Also, this tree, which leads back over to this corner next to where we started, is a warp for us. I didn't know this existed for so long. And then I found it, and it was pretty cool. Literally, and it, 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 okay. It's a cold, cold ice level, so it's cool. Anyway, let's just get over there, please. Do a triple jump. No, 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 please. Oh my goodness. I do not like this section at all. It is very annoying to try and get up, please, Mario. No, stop. You can kind of hold back and jump, but that's still just not going to even get you anywhere. The water doesn't even heal you when you whenever you're barely in it. Please, Mario, oh my goodness, this, this, this part of the level is the absolute worst. Just gonna jump over that and then, oh please, oh please, no, please jump over it, thank you. Oh my goodness, the only time I'm gonna, ever gonna recover from those slopes. Okay. As you can see, being blown off of the snowman is a big p penalty. Which is probably why this star isn't actually that hard to get to, but it's also at the same time very hard to get to. So, let's see if I can actually keep up with this penguin this time. Which is easier said than done. Especially because it keeps moving at different speeds. You just have to kind of keep remembering what speeds it goes by. Don't, don't go too fast Mario, oh my goodness, the ice physics ruined me. And now we're back at the start of the level. Let's go collect our cap before we take more damage from enemies. Oh my goodness. This, 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 this thing. Trying to get across this thing is not easy. Let's try this again. Once I actually don't bug out of the water. Oh my goodness, please don't push me off. Oh my goodness. Also, what's with the camera not being centered on the the, the path I'm trying to go? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna rage. Please, thank you. Oh my goodness. Triple jump. You saved me. Don't slide off. Don't slide off. Don't. 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 Okay, here we go again with this lovely music playing for us. Penguin, please don't make my day be ruined. I need to stay with you. Okay, just stay back a little bit. And then go forward a little bit. Just you want to be little steps, even if you're not completely covered by the pe penguin. You don't need to worry about the penguin being completely locked onto you. You can sometimes be fine. Also... You see that star in there? If your hat falls in there, you pretty much have to leave the level and come back. Because if you grab the star, it's not going to give you a cap back. So yeah, that's another annoying thing to worry about with being blown off, is that penalty of losing your cap until you figure a way to get it to move to somewhere else. I think it will move if you le leave the level and come back, otherwise possibly a game over, or exiting the game and selecting a file again. Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, 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 I can see through the ground. Please, Mario, Mario, why? Camera, why? Oh my goodness, thank you. Oh my goodness. Let's try this again. Okay. Just slow and steady on this wood that's not slippery. Oh 
Okay. Okay? Okay. Slow and steady, 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 slow, 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 and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. Okay, go a little bit forward, and then... Forward a lot more... And then I think we're good. Okay. Oh, all that for one star at the top of this thing, if I can actually climb up this. Just don't fall off at the very end, because that will be the saddest anime death ever. Got it. Oh, breathing again. What a wonderful feeling. I think I'm gonna leave that level just for a little bit more. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. Anyway, the next level we can try out is this painting over here, which is different from all the others we've seen. Some of them are just repeat ones that we've seen, but you can't actually enter them from here. Course 12, Toll Toll Mountain. Scale the mountain. Let's go. Got a good run up the slope. Do you remember how the long jump? Run, press CL, then jump. Thanks for the advice game. Also, we can already see a star. We don't need to worry about it at the moment, so let's just long jump across here. And here. I think the second one is actually a pit. The first one isn't dead death, so this little bit down there you can stand on on the first pit. Anyway, those mushrooms have red coins on them, but obviously if you fall out of the level below them, bad things will happen to you. Now, let's keep climbing up this entire mountain. This is actually quite a tall mountain. There are ways to get up faster, but we're gonna have a look at the whole thing, basically. Also, while we're here, just between after this bridge between these two platforms is another platform down here with a pink bubble on it. Bubble on it. Who's going to prepare the cannon for us? Wherever that is. Now I hope I can actually get up this slope, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Also, this monkey will take your cap. You have to grab him to get it back. If he does take it, get away monkey. Get away from monkey. And this log here is going to roll depending on where we are standing on it. Oh my goodness. Of course I fell. So we need to make sure that the, we have to stand on the log and have it roll so we can use it as a platform across. It's not going to stop rolling, so we actually have to just keep rolling on it for quite a while. Also, I believe if you um, step on those moles enough that are trying to throw stuff at you, you might get a one-up from them. Although that's probably not worth the trouble, considering how the late little lives matter. Okay. Here we go. I've got this. Just stay on, 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 just stay on. Just stay on, and then over here. Breathing. High winds ahead. Pull your cap down tight. If it blows off, you'll have to find it in this mo mountain. Uh, I don't think I've ever had my cap blow off on this mountain, so I don't know why it's telling me about that. I've literally never had to worry about that before. Ever. Oh, am I gonna dodge? Dodge everything? They go the same pattern, but it's still, you have to try not to get hit by them. Anyway, we're getting pretty high up now. There's a one up on that ledge. And there's this wind cloud that's going to try and blast, but we can just walk right past it. Okay. And this vines down here actually counters sand, so you actually move slowly in them. And if I hit this switch, I believe we can get these coins here. But also, when we're over here, a block spawns down there to get that star. It's not the star we're going for at the moment, though, so let's just ignore that for a moment and go across this bridge while this camera's going to move. Probably good to switch to Mario camera for this, so it's a little bit more focused. Okay, good. Let's go up, and we've made it to the top. Just all that way to the top.
Let's see if we can get another star in there. It wasn't too difficult. Mystery of the Monkey Cage. Remember that star we just got? Imagine having to do it again for basically the same thing. That's basically what this is, is head up to the top of the mountain again. We can do it a little bit differently though now, since we've already gone along the outside. And we can skip things that would be a lot harder to go up normally. So, let's go up this wall here. There are platforms along it which have red coins on it. But we don't, we're not trying to collect red coins right now, so let's just go past all of them. Unless we accidentally collect some. And this is actually the lower path that we could have taken if, instead of going against those bowls up there. So by doing this, I believe we've actually skipped the, um, the waterfall and the rolling log. Which is a very useful skip. Anyway. Let's just keep going along here. And now... Getting very close to the top again. Let's change the camera and let's... Get across this bridge, if I can. There's the star we need. But it's in a cage, so we can't collect it. So, don't change the camera! Like that game. Just because I switched like two, like a two doesn't mean you can change the camera drastically while I'm trying to move. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm trying to hit these Goombas are difficult with this low jump thing in there. Okay. Please. Okay, there we go. And now that we're at the top again, there's a little monkey here that we want to try and grab. If we get too close to it as it's when it's stuck in the corner, it will just jump behind us, which means we can grab it as soon as it jumps behind us, but we still have to grab it when it's behind us. Ow, let me go! Ookiki, I was only teasing. Can't you take a joke? I'll tell you what. Let's trade. If you let me go, I'll give you something really good. So how about it? Let's free him. So now he's been let free again. And let's follow him. Where's he going? All the way across here, apparently. And if we follow him, he's going to head towards this caged star. And he's going to jump on it a whole bunch. Dropping it to a platform next to the waterfall. Where it breaks open and allows us to get it, but it didn't actually show the full cutscene of it actually landing there. Anyway, let's grab that. And there we go, as Mario said. Okay, next level. This is actually the last extra new level that we haven't gone to yet. So, we have this... Giant Goomba and Little Goomba painting, which we can't go into. But we've also got branching paths, this one going bigger as we get closer to it. And this other one, which gets smaller as we get closer to it. Let's go into the big one. Course 13, Tiny Huge Island. Pluck the pl piranha flower. So, by entering the big painting, we are now small in this big island. It's not actually Mario changing size, I'm pretty sure it's officially the island changing size. These big Goombas, if you ground pound them, give you five coins. If you stomp on them normally, give you one. I believe you can't even punch them anymore. You actually have to jump on them. Oh my goodness, stop. There we go. So let's find our way to a prana plant flower stuff. There's also a giant fish in this water that will try to eat you, so be careful about that. There's Lakitu throwing sp spinies out. I don't think you can kill the spinies, but you can take out the uh, the Lakitu that's throwing them out, so probably a good plan. This shell can also surf on the water. Where's that big fish that I always saw just two seconds ago? That big fish there will eat you. It's an instant kill if it does. Now there's a cannon hole here. We don't need that at the moment. Let's just jump across here. 
And then let's try to read this sign, if I can. Danger! Strong gusts! But the wind makes a comfy ride. It does indeed. Let's jump off this cliff. Because it's gonna fling us up into the air. Allowing us to get up here. Pretty sure this is just a one-up that we don't really need. It's gonna run away from us anyway. And let's go along this board carefully. Now over here is also a lot more gusts of wind since we're small. Technically. There aren't gusts like this when you're on the other side of the island. There's a gust here as well that's going to try and push you off. Oh my goodness. Don't take that. But if we go into one of these pipes that are around the island, we swap between the big and small areas. Also, these Goombas, if they run into you, will kill themselves, but you don't get the coins from them. Anyway now, I think I'm going to head back through this pipe to change the size of the island. This is not a great side of the island to be big on, so... Oh my goodness, the wind's trying to push me off. Careful, 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 careful. Oh my goodness. There's also some more bowls going down. So we need to dodge those. And now, if I can get up here without being hit by the things trying to kill me. There we go. And then over here. This is where they're being spawned from. And we just go past that. Some goombas over here and another sign. I'll be back soon, I'm out training now, so come back later, Cooper the Quick. We've seen Cooper the Quick in Bob and Battlefield, guess he's from around here? And we'll be back soon, anyway. Now that we're here, we don't want to use this pipe as well, we just want to keep climbing up the mountain. Because we need to get... No we don't, I'm crazy. <laughs> Calm down. Um... Okay, so what we need to do... Is actually... Either jump off of here as big or small, doesn't really matter. There's a pipe here anyway if you need to change. And there are giant piranha plants here that we want to take out if we can. Oh, jumping on them is pretty good. If you fall in the water next to them, you're probably just worth restarting the level. Jump on you, please. Jumping on them is probably the best way to get rid of them, otherwise diving. I don't know, you can probably kick them or punch them. Yeah, you can still punch them. They work differently from the regular piranha plants, but they're basically the same. They don't sleep, so... But anyway, now that that's done, let's grab the star. Also, this ground here makes you jump not very high. There we go. And now, let's head back into level, but we're going to be going into the small painting. The tip top of the huge island. So now, we're big. Uh, but we don't really want to be, I don't think. Because we need to actually get up to the top of the island. There's a, there's a prior plant here that just doesn't do much. Um, how do I actually get up? Do I need to actually take the small the pipe and actually go back this way? I think that's what it wants. Also, there's a fish here. I'm going to run away from that before it kills me. So you can actually get back over to the start by just swimming over, but that fish is probably going to kill you if you're not careful. Anyway, let's keep going through here then. You can swim also th past all this, but I would recommend taking the shell since it means you're a lot faster and less likely to get eaten by a fish. Oh please, Cooper. There we go. Very nice. Now we're going to the top of the mountain, so we need to go basically the same way we did last time. Calm down, me. Oh no. That's not good. Let's start off as small. Because that's just going to work a lot better than going back and forth to try and actually get up. Hello, Goombas. How you doing? What's up? Okay. So, I might just swim across if I can. Just stay on target. Stay on target. Swim fast. Very good. Okay. Now let's actually long jump across there. Go up here. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can actually get this one up. Like that. 
you can get it while it's in its animation, as long as it's, as long as it's towards the end. Which is probably a better way to get it than having it run all along the ground and try to chase it down. Okay. Let's just go up this way. Quickly. Oh, dodge. 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 Anyway. So let's keep going up the mountain. We don't want to take this, the pipe. Let's go up here. There's another one of the purple bob -omb type things. Let's go across here carefully, not walking up the mountain which makes you slide off. And then, not quite the top, is that box there which is the star. But up here is a little bit of water for you if you want to heal. So, this is the actual top. And let's actually go get that star now if I can change the camera so I can actually see what I'm doing and not just walk off the edge. And there we go. And that is the four new levels upstairs. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.